Shalom, Mishra. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophelia Akim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Along to is like foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the line of false side goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Due to prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal, a month by the lesson. And um, today's lesson will be entitled, We Have to Finish Our Course in the Ministry. I was going to go on some precepts and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, and I'm going to start with the book of St. John, chapter 17, and verse 4. You know, and this is not Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, as it is written in red, and it reads, I have glorified thee on, on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. That's right, man. You know, because, you know, when all hell break loose, when Jacob Schroeder come in America, you know, this is a mindset we want to have, you know, entering into Jacob's trouble, you know, because, you know, we want to be able to say, Lord willing, you know, Lord, you know, I finished the work that you gave me, gave me to do. You know, I did the best I can in faith, you know, and by us being in that mindset, that will make us be confident you know, enter into Jacob's trouble on how the Lord is going to protect him and, and, and that he got us, you know, because, you know, we uh, we have to, you know, as it says in Ecclesiastes 9 to 10, but that's whatsoever they hand find to do, which the word hand, when you define it, um, it's from the Hebrew word yad, which means strength or power, so, you know, Let's go back. It says, whatsoever thy hand or thy power find it to do, do it with thy might. You know, so in other words, you know, we have to go all out for you. How about Shimon Shai? We have to pour forth our full might in this truth. It says, for there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. Yeah, so, you know, we can't do the works if we're in the grave, if we're, you know, if the Lord have us to die, you know, so, you know, so in other words, what the scripture is saying, while you're living, do the best you can, you know, and do it with all that might in regards of uh, worshiping Yahweh by Shimon Shai and teaching the truth, man, you know, because when you go to Sirach in Apocrypha, chapter 43, verse 30, when you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can, yeah, so, we, you know, we glorify our Lord, you know, by way of course, you know, praying to him through the names, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and doing the works, you know, teaching the truth, you know, uh, you know, warning our people of the destruction to come, you know, one of them are the prophecies and teaching teach repentance to the elect of our people. That's how we glorify the Lord collectively. It says, exalt him as much as you can, for even yet will he far exceed, and, we, and when you exalt him, pour forth all your strength, and be not weary, for you can never go far enough. Yeah, so we have to put forth all our strength, man, in the Lord. You know, we, we can't be half-fasting in the Lord. You know, we can't give that half-ass sacrifice as Cain did, man. You know, we want to be like Abel, the righteous. You know, when we gave uh, the Lord all, you know. So that's the spirit we want to be in, man. We, want, we don't want to be lukewarm in the truth. You know, because by us, you know, being lukewarm and worldly, you know, the Lord will spew us out of his mouth. You know, and we don't want that, man. You know, because when you read Sirach 15 and 10, it says, For praise shall be uttered in wisdom, and the Lord will prosper it, man. So if we're doing the works of the Lord sincerely and truthfully, the Lord is going to prosper it, man. You know, if we're taking our time out to serve the Lord by, you know, making our videos throughout the week, going out on the highways and byways, you know, doing our daily sacrifices by teaching the truth daily, you know, the Lord is going to prosper it, man. You know, because sometimes, you know, you have to work for, you know, some. sometimes the Lord can bless you with titles and lessons in your mind. That'll be, that's like the Lord uh, sucking with you, 
but sometimes dealing with balance, you know, we have to work for it. You know, we have to, we may have to read a couple of scriptures, or sometimes the Lord can bless us with how's the lesson. We can lamb off off another brother's video he did, or the brother might say a certain point, a jewel in the video, and that can spark a lesson right there. You know, so the Lord will always prosper. Uh, prosper us as long as we're bringing our righteous sacrifice towards him you know but all this will play in, in part of finishing our course in the ministry of the Lord woman you know because remember the Lord said you know in James that uh, draw nigh to him he shall draw near, nigh to you you know uh, James 4 and um, verse 8 it says draw nigh to Yahweh which nigh means near so we draw near to the Most High through repentance and doing uh, uh, in our works in the Lord. It says, and he will draw nigh to you. Yeah, so, you know, if we draw near to the Most High, he was going to draw near to us. He will sup with us and bless us with lessons, uh, and, and he will be dealing with us. It says, cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Yeah, so we do all that through repentance, you know, putting out on that new man that's renewed in Yahweh Shai, that godly man, you know. So, when you go to Second Timothy four and verse seven, which you know this is where I got this, uh, you know, tie my lesson from, uh, and this is Apostle Paul speaking uh, to Timothy, Second uh, Timothy four and seven. It says, "I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith." So right, so that's the mindset we want to be. You know, we have fought the good fight because being in the truth is a fight. It's not, you know, it's 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 not easy, you know. You know, but hey, it's gonna be worth it in the end. Lord willing, we endure. But when you look to find out where a course is from the Greek word dromos, which means a course in the New Testament, figuratively, the course of life or of office. You know, so career. You know, so because you know, this truth is a job. It's a true occupation. You know, so this truth is our being in this truth, worshiping the Lord. It's really our career because. We're supposed to do it. We're supposed to endure it until the end. You know, so this is our course of life. This is our office. This is our lot that the Lord has chosen us to do, to, to be a prophet. You know, and humbly speaking, man, you know, beginning with our apostles, and it was a great minister, and true men that taught, us to, that taught us the truth, you know. So, we want to be in this mindset, man. It says, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing, which are the other elect, because Apostle Paul was the elect, you know, he was of the elect, so, so yeah, man, so that's what we're laboring for, man, if you finish our course in ministry, um, if I didn't say it already, you know, we don't control our lot in the truth, you know, but the Lord has given us tools by way of the word, the comforter, in order to deal with to endure being in the truth, you know, uh, such as scriptures, such as, you know, fight the good fight of faith, lay a hold on eternal life, you know, uh, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved, better is the end of a thing than the beginning, scriptures like that, there are tools the Lord uses to keep our faith uh, uh, strong, so we can keep continuing to endure in the faith, you know, but like I said, you know, we don't control a lot in the faith, so at the end of the day, everything is at the Lord's will. But the Lord, at the same time, the Lord gave us tools, the comforter, in order to uh, uh, withstand in the truth. You know, so, so yeah, that's what we're laboring for, man, that righteous crown, man, that will be placed on our heads by Lord Yahweh Shai. As brother say, uh, the graduation day, man, you know, when Yahweh Shai placed the crowns on the elect head as the vision that Ezra's, uh, Ezra seen, you know, so that's what we're laboring for, man, to be joint heirs. And all the works that we're doing, man, is 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 great. The Lord delights in this, man. You know, we can't look at this as uh inferior just because the world doesn't accept it. You know. But this is James one and twelve says, Blessed is the man that endures temptation. You know, and this is talking about the elect man of the Lord. Cause that's you know, they got that saying in the world, the strongest the, the strongest survive. And that saying is going to apply to the elect of the Lord and Jacob's trouble because the elect is going to be the only ones that's going to be saved out of America, Babylon the Great. 
the elect men of Israel. So bless the men that endure temptation, you know, the hour temptation, the MOTB, you know, but also temptation in Jacob's trouble, you know. For when he is tried, tested, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him, man. Right, so the elect is going to do all this because it's already written, and they're going to receive that crown of life, man. You know, and the Lord promised to his elect by way of the prophecies that he would do it. You know, because the kingdom of heaven has been prophesied in order for the kingdom of heaven to be erected in the earth. It would have to be someone that, will, that will rule the kingdom of heaven, which will be our Lord Yahweh Shai, and the 144,000. So, you know, we just got to keep continuing, you know, you know, enduring the faith, Akim, and, you know, fight the good fight of faith, man. You know, just end off on that. You know. First Timothy 6 and 12 says, fight the good fight of faith. You know, and you know, like I said earlier, being in the shoe is a fight, but we got to keep continuing to fight, man. You know, lay hold on eternal life, which is this truth, this knowledge. We're unto you, thou art also called, with all being our call in the faith, Lord, when we're chosen. And has professed a good profession, because this is our ultimate profession. This is our job, you know, before many witnesses, because a lot of people see the works that we do in the Lord on the highways and byways and throughout the internet when we post our videos on YouTube. So, we got to fight the good fight of faith. I can keep continuing to labor and endure to the end. I just thought of one more scripture. Because it's going to be worth in the end, man. Matthew 24 and verse 13. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So, you know, we got to finish our course in the ministry of Lord willing. You know, and uh, Lord willing, the Lord keeps his rechak with the Holy Spirit on us to keep continuing to abound in the faith and to keep continuing to uh, be faithful, man. So, you know, Lord willing, I was edified. And uh, until next time, shout out.